What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So guys, this week we have a 50% bonus on the earnings of the Asset Lab and today I'm going to show you a very easy method to earn up to 220k per hour in GTA Online, almost entirely passive. The reason why I'm saying almost is just because you will have to do a sale mission just like with any other business that you have in the game. This will take you around 10 minutes maximum and you have to do it every 3 to 4 hours in real life. So in fact you could really consider this as passive. Now you guys might be thinking 220k an hour it's not that much but like I said you only have to do a sale mission every 3 hours and for the rest you can just do whatever you want just make sure that you're on GTA Online. First thing that you have to do, go to your asset lab, start the boost. You can do this once every day in real life. It will double the speed of the production process. It will last for one hour. And after the boost is done, if you had enough supplies, you will have 50% of stock. So half of your asset lab is already full. Now, of course, when you start the boost, you will have to make sure that you have supplies. So either call Mutt, go to your asset lab, talk to Mutt, or just do a steel mission. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have supplies. Keep in mind, if you do a steel mission this week, there is also a double reward on that. But of course, then the business is not as much passive as it would be if you would just buy the supplies. Like I said, after one hour with the boost, you will have 50% of full stock. If you then buy supplies again, or if you then resupply and wait two hours, you will have full stock, which is worth 502k. The total amount of supplies that you need, by the way, to fill up your asset lab is 8 bars of supplies. If you would buy this, this will be 96k. So you're spending 96k, but you're getting a value of 502k. And then if we go ahead and sell in a full lobby with at least 25 people, we will get a bonus of 50%. So we will earn 750k for selling. We only spent 96k. It took 3 hours to fill it up. So that brings you to 220k approximately per hour for the people who were wondering about the math. So very briefly, what you have to do is just get some supplies, start the boost. You can do this once every day. Wait an hour, then resupply again. Wait two hours and then after three hours you will have to sell. If you want to do multiple sales in one day, of course the second time that you fill up the asset lab it will take four hours because you don't have the boost anymore. So now let's go over the sale missions real quick. The first one is the one that takes you to a parking lot. Normally you will have to go all the way up to the fake car where you have to deliver the product to. But don't do this. There will be a cop car on the first floor. Just shoot this and then you can escape immediately. After this you will have to lose the cops which is a lot easier of course if you can just drive away fastly. And then you will have to take the motorcycle to the second or the backup drop off location. Big shout out by the way to Sebastian CH for giving me this tip on one of my last videos about the asset lab. It's a good tip, you don't have to drive all the way up and also you lose the cops faster. So at the end of the mission we did it in a full lobby, we got 750k which is of course really good because at the end like I said it was only 10 or even 5 minutes of work that we actually did in the game. Second type of mission is the one with the five drop-offs. Again, I have a very good tip for you guys from Sebastian. So again, shout out to you, bro. When you drive up to a drop-off location, you will always have three options where you can put the package. Before you do this, always look at your surroundings because sometimes there will be a police car at the location. If they see where you put the package, you will get a wanted level. And of course, we don't want this. The first time that you get a wanted level, you can call Lester. But it's better, of course, to avoid this. So on this location, there was no cops, so no problem. But for example, for the second drop-off over here, I looked around. To be honest, I didn't see the cop car, but there was one over here across the road on the left right now. So of course, if I put the package over here, he will see me and I will get a wanted level. So in this case, very simple what I had to do. There was a third location in the back where the police car cannot see you. If you put the package over there, you will not get a wanted level. So the police car is always kind of in a obvious location. For example, here on this parking lot as well. You can see it, the black car over there. You can also see the sirens on the car. It's always this type of car. So just make sure that the car cannot see where you put the package. There will always be one location where you can put it and then you will not get a wanted level. 
The third and last type of sail mission is the most simple one. It will take you a little bit longer, but it's basically 10 drop-off locations. There will always be a box. You have to throw a newspaper in the box, do this 10 times, and that's it. Sometimes there could be NPCs, by the way, that will attack you at a drop-off location, but for the rest, a very easy mission. So guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.